welcome to all today's class about energy conservation this class will be presented by dr s kartika rani assistant professor department of physics cpa college bodhi types of energy energy can be broadly divided into two categories renewable energy non renewable energy renewable energy renewable energy can be generated continuously practically without decay of source example solar energy wind energy geothermal energy and hydro energy solar energy solar energy can be converted into electrical energy by using solar panels or alternatively be used as thermal energy using solar water heaters solar cookers etc wind energy india is world's third largest producer of electricity generation using wind power by windmills geothermal energy a lot of energy exists inside earth crust natural hot water springs are a good source of getting such energy hydro energy using dams water is allowed to pass through turbine blades which produces electricity in india after coal most of the energy is produced by this method non renewable energy non renewable energy cannot be generated again and again example energy generated from combustion of fossil fuels energy from coal and gas etc energy energy can neither be generated nor it can be destroyed it can only be converted from one form to another for example in a room heater electrical energy is converted to the thermal energy turbine converts mechanical energy stored in steam to electrical energy way to conserve we have limited fuels available on earth our demand for energy is increasing day by day it is possible that some day most of fuels will be exhausted and we'll have to switch over to alternate energy limited fuels at present consumption levels crude oil will last only for 40 years gas will last for 60 years coal will be finished in nearly 200 years ever throw of ever thought of life without oil and gas increasing consumption furthermore our consumption is increasing day by day this means fuels will last much earlier than expected the only solution is energy conservation energy conservation in india in india government has passed energy conservation bill 2001 for better utilization of energy and the conservation of the same by this act it is mandatory for energy incentive sectors to get their energy audit conducted by aggregated energy auditor star ratings b WE has also initiated star rating system for electrical appliances example refrigerator cfl geyser etc in this system 1 to 5 stars are allotted to product depending on their energy efficiency a 5 star product means that it consumes least energy in its segment what can we do we the children can do our bit to save energy we should not waste energy in school or at home in school always switch off lights and fans while going out of the class in school in computer lab we should switch off computers before going out of class if there are less students in the class we should sit together so that some fans can be switched off at home we should not keep light and fan unnecessarily switched on tell mother to take material out from fr- fridge if it is to be heated sometime early so that cooking gas consumption is low we should not open fridge door frequently we should not open fridge door the for long time watching 
interesting programs on TV is interesting, but afterwards TV should be switched off. While going to purchase new products, example refrigerator, geyser, CFL etc., we should insist upon purchasing a few star product rather than cheap and energy waster products. How will it help? Take an example, we replace 100 watts bulb with a 13 watts CFL. Let us assume electricity is available for rupees 3 per unit and this bulb is used for 6 hours a day. The annual savings should be rupees 52.56. Remember to replace light bulbs with CFLs so electricity could be available for more time. You can also ask your parents for a chocolate or some other gift after reducing your electricity bill. What else can be done? We should discuss energy conservation with our friends and tell others how can we reduce energy consumption. Thank you to all.